Our previous lesson, we learned forces can be contact forces and non-contact forces. And we learned some of them in detail. Now let's learn what is muscular force. Kids, where do you have muscles? It's in your body. So, muscular force is a force applied using our body parts like arms or legs. If we push something or pick up something or throw something, we are applying muscular force. All our daily activities like sitting, standing, walking, cycling, playing, swimming require some muscular force. And it's a contact force as it can move an object if it's in contact with the object. We cannot move any object without touching it. So it is contact force. Now let's learn what is buoyancy. It is a force that keeps something floating. Do you ever wonder why certain things float while others sink? When an object is woolly or partially immersed in water or any liquid, an upward force acts on it, which is known as buoyant force. And this force prevents anything from sinking or let it float. So, buoyancy is the ability to float. Some objects, like a beach ball, is very buoyant, while some others, like pebbles, stones, are not buoyant at all. That is, they just cannot float. Okay kids, do you know what keeps the clouds floating in the air? It's the buoyant force that keeps the clouds floating in the air. You'll read more on it in your next grades. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!